What are flare system components? The various components present in a flare system are flare headers, knockout drum, flare stack, spark ignition device, and pilot flame tip. What is a flare stack? A flare stack is a gas combustion device used in industrial plants to burn off flammable gases released by safety valves during unplanned overpressuring of plant equipment and during plant startups and shutdowns or vessel depressuring, and used for plant combustion of gases as well. Differentiate between PSV and BDV. A PSV, a pressure safety valve, is a safety device designed to protect a pressurized vessel or system during an overpressure event. An overpressure event refers to any condition that would cause pressure in a system to increase beyond the specified design pressure or maximum allowable working pressure (MAWP). A BDV a blowdown valve is a valve designed to depressurize a pressure vessel down to 50% of the design pressure or 7 bars G whichever value is lower in 15 minutes as stated in API 521. What are the design criteria for BDV? API 521 suggests that to depressurize a pressure vessel, it must be brought down to 50% of the design pressure or 7 bars G, whichever value is lower in 15 minutes. Is it necessary to provide BDV and why? Yes, it is necessary to provide a BDV to pressure vessels. Installing a BDV ensures that an option to depressurize the vessel at any time exists. Situations like the vessel being exposed to fire, valve outlet blockages, both PSV and PCV blocked, and general maintenance would require depressurization. To which system is the BDV downstream connected? The BDV is connected to the flare system via the flare header. What is the purpose of an orifice plate? An orifice plate is a thin plate with a hole that is installed in a pipe in which fluid flows. As fluid flows through the orifice, it causes a pressure drop due to reduced flow area. More flow rate means more pressure drop. Hence, for a constant flow area of the orifice, as pressure drop is measured, the flow rate can be calculated. What is the difference between flow orifice and restriction orifice? A flow orifice is used to measure the flow rate whereas a restriction orifice is used to drop the upstream pressure of a system. In a distillation column, you have a mixture of benzene, toluene, and all the xylene isomers. If you want to separate benzene and toluene at the top and xylenes at the bottom, can you estimate the temperature which would be at the top of the column and the temperature at the bottom of the column? Explain your answer. The temperature at the top of the column would be above the boiling point temperature of benzene, 80 degrees Celsius, and toluene, 110 degrees Celsius, while the temperature at the bottom of the column would be below the boiling point temperature M, 139 degrees Celsius. To obtain benzene and toluene as the overhead product, the two components must be vaporized, hence the temperature must be maintained beyond their boiling points. To obtain xylene at the column, the temperature must be maintained below its boiling point temperature. The reboiler can be made to maintain the column temperature in the range of 112 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius. In a distillation column, consider that we have a mixture of chemicals being fed. One of the components is in a small amount. As you perform a distillation column simulation, you find that the component is going in the bottoms. However, your friend, who is working in the plant which operates this column says that this component is going to the top of the column, what would you do to modify the simulation? For the given scenario, the quickest way to modify the simulation to achieve the desired output would be to decrease the pressure within the distillation column which would increase the relative volatility of the mixture. Consider a compressor that is designed for a certain gas mixture. What would happen if the gas mixture is changed? If the process fluid being worked on by a compressor is changed, compressor speed and power requirements would be affected, whether the values increase or decrease depends on the properties of the gas. In a process, we are reacting a liquid hydrocarbon mixture with hydrogen gas in the gas-liquid mixed reactor. The reactor is followed by a separator and the leftover gas is separated, compressed, and recycled back while the liquid leaves the system. Do you need a purge gas stream? Explain your answer. Do you need a makeup gas stream? How will you calculate the makeup gas flow?
No, a purge gas stream is not required as the leftover gas is part of our reactant component. Instead, we will need a makeup gas stream to compensate for the gas lost in the previous reaction. Makeup gas flow requirement can be determined by comparing the pressure levels before and after the reaction and providing the required amount of gas. What is the effect of flow rate on head? The effects of the flow rate on head are as follows. The maximum head that is shut off head is achieved when the flow rate is zero. Increasing flow rate introduces friction into the system as the liquid travels along the pipes. Under laminar flow conditions, the pressure drop is proportional to the volumetric flow rate. When the flow rate is doubled, the pressure drop is also doubled. Under turbulent flow conditions, pressure drop increases as the square of the volumetric flow rate. Explain the different types of PSVs. How does it work? There are three types of PSVs used. Conventional, when built up back pressure is less than 10% of set pressure. Balance bellow, when total back pressure is between 10% and 50% of set pressure and pilot operated, when total back pressure is greater than 50% of set pressure. Describe the pressure drop criteria of the control valve. The valve shall be sized for normal operating flow at normal pressure drop. Differential pressure for the valve shall not be less than 10 psi. If the system cannot withstand 10 psi or more drop through the valve, a butterfly, eccentric disc or ball valve should be considered. Is PSV set pressure and design pressure the same or not? No, PSV set pressure and design pressure are not the same. As per API 520 part 1, we can have PSV set pressure at values lesser than the established design pressure if required. How to carry out PSV inlet line sizing? For the PSV inlet line, it is to be ensured that pressure drop is less than 3% of set pressure to successfully carry out sizing. What information does the line list contain? A line list is a database that has the following information for process and mechanical engineering teams. Unique line number, start and end point of the line, fluid flowing through the piping, fluid phase, flow rate, velocity, piping specification. Design and operating pressure and temperature of the service, P and ID reference numbers, piping isometric reference numbers, corrosion allowance, insulation type and thickness, heat tracing type and hydro test requirements. In this video series, the questions given in Chapter 17 from our handbook, Process Plant Design and Simulation Volume 1, will be answered. The handbook is a must-have for any process engineer with an interest in process simulation, providing you with the building blocks that would eventually have you simulating entire systems independently. Get yours today. The link is available in the description.